Hi, Greg Pollock again from the Financial Advisors Association of Canada. I'd like to take up this to talk to you about a report that was released this morning from the Task Force on Financial Literacy, their, their final report after 18 months' work, Canadians and their money, building a brighter financial future. And uh, you may recall that about 18 months ago, Minister Flaherty did appoint this 13-member task force. I was proud to be uh, one of those members, uh, the only individual representing an association of financial advisors in the country. We've had extensive deliberations over that time. We began those deliberations uh, almost, as they say, two years ago. It was in July. And uh, that very first meeting, we, we looked at the whole issue of financial literacy and, and what is financial literacy. And we came up with a definition. And I encourage you to go to the report and to review that. Uh, very many uh, recommendations in, in this report, uh, everything from looking at the financial literacy within the public education system, looking to at adult financial literacy, looking uh, at issues such as plain language, looking at uh, public access points to, uh, to get more information on the issue of financial literacy. But as well, we, we looked at issues related to the work that you as uh, financial advisors and planners uh, do every day uh, in, in your world. Uh, just reading one of the recommendations here, government in partnership with stakeholders should provide tools to help Canadians become better informed about the role and benefits of professional financial advice, and as well, how to choose a financial practitioner. Well, advocates couldn't agree more uh, with this statement. Uh, we believe it's important that Canadians uh, have some, some tools to assist them in, in choosing the, the right advisor for them. We all know as advisors that that relationship between a client and advisor is, is a lifelong relationship in many cases, and so the fit, the fit has to be right. Uh, as well, we looked at a, a life uh, events approach to uh, financial advice and financial planning. We, we use the term teachable moments. And there are teachable moments. There, there are times when, for example, uh, a, a youngster uh, who's looking to put a, a cell phone contract to, together, if you want, uh, purchasing their first cell phone, uh, they're not at age 14 or 15 uh, thinking about uh, purchasing that first house and, and a mortgage. They're focused on the cell phone contract. That's the teachable moment. That's the time to be talking about, about cell phones and contracts and how they work and to help them become financially literate with respect to those issues. We were delighted this morning as a task force uh, when the Minister of Finance, uh, Minister Flaherty, uh, was quoted as saying, improving financial literacy helps consumers make knowledgeable and confident decisions towards achieving their financial goals. Uh, he went on to say uh, in his press conference that uh, his government will uh, take this report and uh, is very encouraged by this report. And certainly we, see, we hope to see you know, a lot more work related to this issue over the coming months and years. And I can assure you that Abacus will be there, will be part of that discussion, will be part of that debate. And I'll, I look forward to keeping you informed. So have a good day.